Good evening. Hey, how are you? Okay, um, well, it's going to be a difficult task to guess tonight, but the back of anything you think you've done to make it a bit of a closer contest when you reflect on the night? Um, yeah, not passed to them twice in our half would have been a good one. Um, but yeah, no, I thought the performance was, yeah, I thought it was a decent performance. I thought um, we got punished for a couple of mistakes. I thought we were front foot. I thought, apart from the scoreline, I thought it was uncomfortable for Manchester City. I thought they, they turned the ball over more than usual for them. I thought we pressed well. Um, yeah, I, I thought we gave it a real good go. Um, got heavily punished for a couple of mistakes. Didn't make the most of opportunities. I think we arrived. We arrived in decent situations a lot um, and took us a very long time to score a goal from that. So, yeah, no, I thought there was there was lots to be positive about. Sounds like that's a frustration again as it has been the last few weeks getting into decent areas and not getting shots away. Was that today City swarming you a bit? Was that, was that partly the problem or was it again you think yourselves could have done a bit more on this? Yeah, I think they're, they're obviously... They're, they're, they've got a fantastic defence, of course, but yeah, we, we could have definitely been better. I thought... Um, it's probably one of our highest chances created this season, I would guess, against the top side. So, um, yeah, lots to take from that. But um, similar to the last few weeks, can we make a bit more of the situations? Probably. Um, the one that's bouncing around from the corner as well. Unfortunately, that doesn't go in. So, yeah, I thought we, I thought we gave a lot. I thought you saw from the response of the supporters in the 88th minute when we were still front foot and still going for it at 4-1 down. The supporters were, were well behind the players and... That says a lot about what they what they thought of the performance. You obviously made the decision to start with an extra centre back because that's sort of an easy call given the far power City had. Was that the main reason for that? I guess. Um, yeah, we had a few we had a few injury issues as well this week, um, and yeah, generally they put five on the they, they generally put five on the top line. They've been three two five mainly for a long time with a full back inside. So um, yeah, I felt five v five would have been a better match up for us and. Um, yeah, I thought when we were in structure and when we were pressing and going after things, I thought we were very well organised and looked very good. I didn't think that was ever the ever the issue. It wasn't a shape issue or a, um, yeah anything anything that we could have done better structurally. We we made a couple of mistakes and we played against the top side. You mentioned injuries. I guess Matthias not being on bench. Is with yeah, so from last week, yeah, Matthias injured his knee in training. Hopefully not too serious, but uh, had a shot and. Um, yeah, it was blocked and had a pain on the inside of his knee, so he was missing. Antoine missed all week with tonsillitis, so he was sub, but couldn't really use him unless we desperately needed him. He would have been at risk if we'd used him. So obviously the scoreline being as it was, we, we, we didn't use Antoine. Um, and Tav missing with his hamstring, so three, three from last week's squad that were well almost all unavailable apart from Antoine. You also have two key from the bench, and they... June's been around the squad and stuff recently. What's the with him? Is he still unavailable, I presume? Who, sorry? Junior. Ah, uh, yes. So, yeah, ju Junior's got a small injury, so um, wasn't available. All fit senior players were, were on the bench today. Just last for me, obviously, you spoke, I think, yesterday about the not trying to go through the emotional ups and downs of now the relegation zone winning and losing. I mean, I guess the message is very much the same now after this week as it was after winning last week. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I, I, yeah, I haven't seen the results. I don't know any of the three o'clock. So I'm purely going off of what we've done today, as always. Um, and I thought, yeah, I, I can sum it up fairly, yeah, fairly simply for you that we we had a real good go. I thought, um, and we we made mistakes that are uncharacteristic for us. We we don't turn the ball over a lot in those situations. I don't think we overplay very often. I think we generally mix it up fairly well. I don't think we're a team that takes huge risk playing out from the back but um, the boys obviously understand that every time the ball arrives at you as a footballer you have a decision to make whether you can whether you can secure it and make passes or whether you need to play forward and we maybe got a couple wrong today against the top top side and they punished us heavily for that so uh, and yeah we kept going we showed that we, that we won't stop um, and I thought we caused them some problems Hi Gary, uh, Hi. some momentary lapses in concentration uh, for a couple of those goals you mentioned, but given how quickly Sam can <coughs> shift through those gears, how much of today's defeat do you think was down to City's brilliance rather than almost own undoing? 
a lot of it, yeah. They were, yeah. I, we may not have been punished as heavily if we were, we weren't playing Manchester City, but of course we, we don't want to make those mistakes. I think, yeah, passing the ball across your own penalty area straight to to one of their forward players is is always going to cause you trouble. Um, so yeah, that was yeah not like us, an uncharacteristic mistake. Um, could have reacted slightly quicker probably to the first goal on turnover because we had enough time to fix that once we turned the ball over a fault um, second goal we get done with a real simple run in behind really disappointed because obviously something that we've we'd covered as well so um, disappointed with that one and the fourth one was unfortunate but uh yeah, I mean it was it was a tough game, but I I mean I thought the the lads gave everything. I think once it'll be an inch, it's a tricky one for the boys. I've obviously been sat there when you play against top sides and you lose you lose four one or whatever it may be. Um, but the performance, I'm sure the lads felt it themselves that they were right in that game, causing Manchester City some problems at times. Um, but it needed to be one nil or nil nil at the point that we were causing them problems. The fact that you've given them a big head start means that it feels a lot less uncomfortable for them than it than it probably could have been. And it seems like um, Lepham was man marking them one at a time as well. Is that a deliberate instruction? And if so, why him? Uh, no, tricky on the. Yeah, so Gundogan obviously normally plays in that pocket as a left left number 10, but when he recognises that the right side centre-back is marking him, he tries to drag him into areas that he doesn't want to go. So Mep's obviously had decisions to make, whether he goes all the way, whether he comes off. Um, and I thought in the main he did it well because it was tricky. Um, obviously disappointed with the way that they, they get in for the second goal. But yeah, what well, wasn't man marking as such, but we, we expected that Gundogan would be in that area. So... Obviously, did some stuff on on what it might look like for Chris. Yeah. Just nothing from me. You touched on it briefly, but what specific positives can you take from away from a defeat like this? Uh, none from the defeat. No positives at all because we don't get any points. But um, from how the boys approached the game, from how well organised I thought we looked, from how well the shape worked. Um, don't think they cut us open too many times when we were in a good shape and we were set. Um, a lot of our issues were caused on on, on transition. So. Um, and what I take from it is that we need to be better again still when we arrive and if we're going to go and press teams like Manchester City and there's a risk attached to that there's obviously a risk to going after them a little bit like we tried to so to, to get any we need to make sure we get a reward when we win the ball back high up so a few times we win the ball back high up and it sort of fizzles out a little bit so um, better decisions a little bit more clinical um, a good look at, for the lads today at what the top level looks like um, we obviously have a, a lot of work to do to, to close the gap with a the, the lads that are performing higher up the league. Okay. Okay. Thank you, guys. We're going to move to a Monday section now. So cameras, so they can stop, please. Um, anybody with any questions.